Hey everyone, Rogold here, and today it looks like you could not live with your own anticipation. Where did that bring you? Back to me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had to pull out the Thanos quote, but it's unironically kind of applicable. Today marks exactly one week from when Ubisoft Forward is happening, and in my last Heartland video, where I talked about the uh, leaked Rainbow Six skin, which I will link in the top corner right now in case you missed it, in that video I said, we will have to keep our eyes peeled to see if any other hints or clues pop up in the lead up to Forward. Well, guess what? They have. Now, of course, it is still not yet confirmed that Heartland is showing up at Ubisoft Forward. If it were, I would have made that very clear in the title and thumbnail. I suppose there's a chance that Red Storm would come out at some point during the lead up next week and just be like, hey, tune into Ubisoft Forward for a glimpse at Heartland. But it seems unlikely to me at this point. What I had said to myself internally when I was making that Rainbow Six video last week was I need to keep a wide eye out for any other irregularities or abnormalities. And as somebody who has been keeping an eye, a close eye, a too close of an eye on Heartland stuff over the last year since it was announced, Announced. That's exactly what I have found in these last few days, y'all. Today, I want to present you with two new pieces of evidence that continue to solidify my suspicions that the Division Heartland is at long last going to be revealed at this Ubisoft Forward event. Again, just to be very clear, this does not confirm its attendance, but I think it is quite telling. So I'll be curious to see what you all think about it. My excitement continues to grow for this. I hope you're all pumped as well. Let's get right into it. The first thing here is maybe something that a few of you picked up on or saw go down yourself. So recently, Red Storm put out a tweet marketing Ubisoft Forward again, which to be fair, like I've said in the past, you know, Ubisoft Studio marketing a Ubisoft event isn't the farthest stretch in the world, but it is abnormal, considering Red Storm's Twitter is generally pretty quiet, um, though they have been ramping up their posts more and more in the mo in the recent months, so who knows what that might mean. But typically for them, they don't say much, and this was now the second time that they've shouted out the Forward event. So I thought that was interesting. It said, you can see right here, reminder, September welcomes the next Ubisoft Forward event. Tune in at 12 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Uh, CEST on Saturday, September 10th, 2022 to learn about upcoming games, company news, and more. Click the link for full event info. So, all right. All right. Building more hype for the event. Pretty standard. Uh, you may notice that my screenshot here was from pretty recently after it was posted, about two hours it didn't live much longer than that. I had taken this picture to send to a friend, thankfully, because soon after it did, Redstorm deleted this post. And I first became aware of that because I had retweeted their post saying, is it the 10th yet? And that's when I saw, you can see right at the bottom there, this tweet was deleted by the tweet author. I was like, really? Now, in all honesty, I have no idea why they would have deleted this thing. It's not like they shared any sensitive information. It wasn't overly revealing. It was leading myself and many others to solidify some of our beliefs about Heartland's potential appearance. But is that really cause to then delete the entire thing? I don't know. But as I said, people, I'm on the lookout for irregularities and abnormalities, and this undoubtedly fit that bill. The only rational reasoning I can come up with for why they might have deleted it is that perhaps it was released too early. Like, if their goal with the post was to get people to save the date in their mind, then yeah, maybe 11 days was a bit too early for them to do that. Still a bit odd, but perhaps we'll see them repost this at some point during next week uh, with the lead-up to the event on Saturday. Either way, given Redstorm's usual subtlety on Twitter, given the speculation already brewing about Heartland, I found this post and its subsequent Quint deletion quite interesting, so that is finding number one on today's display. I'll be very interested to hear all of your guys' thoughts about that one. All right, let's move on to exhibit number two now, and I need to preface this one a little bit in order to underscore its importance. Heartland is in a very strange, very unique place as a game, in that really, you can make the argument that it is both an announced and unannounced game. Obviously, we know of its existence, and Ubisoft first dropped that information in their own post, but at the same time, do we really? Ever since May of 2021, Heartland's mentions have been few and far in between, and even that is being a bit generous. We got that initial announcement, and then within the last two months, they said that some close tests have been happening with it, but that's about it. Publicity-wise, it has no base. There's been no marketing for it. They've barely mentioned it offhandedly in some of the financial reports to convey its delay. A few random Ubisoft accounts on Twitter will occasionally bundle it in with some other upcoming games to ask if people are excited about it. It was thrown into a division survey recently, asking if people had even heard about the game, so it's very hit or miss on whether or not Ubisoft or other division entities even really treat the game as announced. And I think that's partly because there's so little information about it. Publicly, we do not know what kind of game it is, where it will take place, when it's going to release, zap, zilch, zip, nothing. And in this culture of uncertainty about its status, that transcends to the employees and studio of Red Storm Entertainment, the people making the game. On Twitter, just about every person working on the title has it in their bio that they are indeed working on Heartland. But then if you look at Red Storm itself, well, finally, they put a tiny bit of the, the released image in their Twitter banner, so that's cool. But as a studio across their website and social media platforms, they have, like, never once acknowledged Heartland's existence. It's not anywhere in their Twitter bio. They've never made a post about people 
people's excitement for the game on their website. You will not find a trace of it. Believe me, I have tried. And they have never made a news post, you know, even on their website or Twitter, uh, when it was announced saying like, hey, here's what we're working on. It's not listed under their game tabs, literally nothing. So again, depending on where you get your information from, Heartland might be nothing more than a myth to you because of how sporadic and inconsistent Ubisoft's mentions and acknowledgements of it are. Well, My friends, that has changed. Heartland has broken new territory in the realm of acknowledgement. And as I said, irregularities and abnormalities, this is yet another one I found in the lead up to Ubisoft 4. Let's jump over to Red Storm's website so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are on Red Storm's website. This is a place that I've come back to quite a lot over the past, what has it been now, like 15 months since the game was announced, just to see if there was ever any little bits of, you know, hints or news or whatever that I might be able to find. And as I said, you will not find a single mention or even hint that Heartland exists if you were just to check their website. If you go to their games, there is not a panel for it. It's just Division 2 and all the stuff they worked on previously. If you go to news, there was never an announcement when the game was announced by Ubisoft. There's never been anything like that. So across the the entire thing, there's never been anything. And one spot in particular that I've always gone back to check on is the hirings that they're doing at the studio, because sometimes that can be a little bit telling as to what they're, you know, they're looking for, all that stuff. As you can see right now, there's a decent amount of things that are listed on here. And like I said, over the past 15 months, I have consistently looked at all of these different ones that are available. Obviously, they go in and out of of flux, depending on what they're posted, if they get filled, whatever. And these last few are pretty similar to what has been the case over the past, you know, like I said, 15 months. You know, you got, they have a lot of senior positions open right now, which is interesting. But, you know, this one is back from June. It'll just say, give a bit of Ubisoft background. It'll say, oh, we're developing our next AAA game and all that stuff. Pretty standard. Um, Like I said, this is what they have all looked like. For a very long time. The same with this one that was posted a month later. Come join our next, uh, our AAA team to work on the next thing for VFX. This one, you know, pretty standard, pretty standard. Well, I then went on the other day and saw. This one's actually new. I looked this morning and this is not here, but that's for their VR project, which we know is Assassin's Creed. This one was still from August 2nd. Looks the same as the rest. This most recent one has a pretty notable change that, again, I think is a little bit telling as to what might be coming. This is from August 12th, so it is a few weeks back, but I just saw this recently that this is the first job listing ever to specifically mention right here. Red Storm has an exciting opportunity for a talented and highly motivated senior online engineer to join our Tom Clancy's The Division Heartland team. This is the first time ever that Red Storm has ever specifically mentioned Heartland in a job listing that I've seen. Again, I've looked at this pretty consistently. I even made a video on the hirings before a long while back when there was something notable to talk about, and they have never that I've seen ever referenced Heartland in their actual uh, hirings, let alone their entire website. So I find that to be pretty interesting. I mean, you can kind of scour through this and see if you can pull anything apart. I mean, it says, you know, AAA multiplayer online games, matchmaking leaderboards, online persistence, all that stuff. That's all neat. But what we're really talking about here is, is it significant that they've now actually mentioned Heartland on an official listing like this? It could go either way. Either it's just, I don't know what the reasoning would be to just suddenly make the switch that they've always just said their AAA, their next AAA title, their AAA team to now actually mentioning Heartland. Could it indicate that sometime soon, because this was posted on August 12th, that within the next month from when they were posting this, they're going to start transitioning to more publicly talking about Heartland. If it were to get a reveal at Ubisoft Ford, I do not know. But I do know that Red Storm has always been incredibly uh, hesitant to mention or really promote Heartland in any sort of way. And they are now doing that with this latest job listing. So, you know, we got a week to go until Ubisoft Forward. We'll see if it does show up there. I wouldn't be surprised at all if all of their future hirings, you know, if the game is coming out in a few months or whatever, start to then specifically mention Heartland. And this could just be the first indication of that that happened a bit before the actual event. I do not know, but I wanted to show this all to you guys because, again... Like I said, irregularities and abnormalities, this is one that I've not seen in the 15 months since the game was announced, and they are now finally mentioning the game by name on their website. I think that's pretty intriguing, so we'll see what it turns out to mean. So there you have it, folks. As I said at the start of this video, I doubt we are going to get full confirmation on if Heartland will actually debut at Ubisoft Forward or not. I mean, I would love to be wrong. Maybe they will sometime next week, but in lieu of that, the next best thing we could look for is evidence. And with the Rainbow Six skin thing last week, and now this post deletion, uh, plus one of Red Storm's first ever acknowledgements of the game with this hiring post, I don't know, guys. Things just keep piling up. If you're still skeptical about this whole thing, I certainly don't blame you. In fact, I admire it. You know, I I think the vast majority of us are extremely excited for Heartland to finally get revealed, but all the excitement in the world isn't going to change whatever the plan is behind the scenes. And while I think these recent events we've talked about seem to indicate that plan potentially leaning a certain way, ultimately we're just going to have to wait and hope for the best. But as I said at the start of the video, we're only one week out, and that gets me pretty excited. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. Let me know your thoughts about these latest happenings in the world of Heartland. What do you make of Red Storm's deleted tweet? Could it have been that they revealed too much? Was it perhaps sent out too early? Any other theories there? And how significant do you find it to be that Red Storm has finally acknowledged Heartland in one of their hiring posts for the first time ever? Is that just coincidental timing with Forward happening in a week or could it indicate a shift in the marketing that's coming our way soon? Whatever your guys' thoughts are on that or anything else, be sure to let me know down below. As always, I'll be very curious to read through your thoughts. One week. One week until our questions are answered. In case you hadn't already heard, I will be live streaming the Ubisoft Ford event right here on my channel. That's taking place Saturday, September 10th at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. And I'll be live a little bit before that just to chat and whatnot. So I would love to have you. And if it wasn't already obvious, I am extremely interested to see what we're going to find out. Like I said in the last video, I will continue to keep my eyes out for further clues or hints about Heartland status or potential appearance at the event. And if it's warranted, I will make another video in the lead up to Ford. If there's more stuff after this, then man, I don't even know at that point. Either way, guys, I'm super stoked for the future of the Division franchise, regardless of what happens next week. And as always, I am incredibly thankful that you all choose to continue coming on that journey with me. That's all I've got for today, folks. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And until the next one, guys, real gold. Ow.